You've made it this far on the debt-free putt-putt course, and now you're on the back nine, where the hazards increase and you have to work harder to avoid losing focus. You better be careful and keep your grip steady, because this is where you'll encounter the hidden sand traps. Yes, this is where credit card offers are hiding on every hole. Let's put these hidden traps into perspective. Did you know that using a credit card means spending, on average, 15 to 20% more in interest and other charges? According to a recent study, college seniors graduated with an average credit card debt of more than $4,100, up from $2,900 almost four years ago. What's more, 41% of cardholders from the ages of 18 to 29 made only the minimum required payment on a credit card. By only making the minimum payment of approximately $90 a month on a $4,100 balance, it'll take almost six years to pay it off. And that's if your interest rate doesn't spike to 30% by missing a payment. And if you're ever late on a payment and the interest rate goes up to 30%, you'll have to pay about $142 every month for almost six years, or close to $10,000 for a $4,100 balance. That's a pretty deep trap. If you do use a credit card, be sure you're using it wisely. That means no clothes, gas, food, video games, or that awesome surround sound system should ever be put on the card. You'll be lost in the debt trap before you even leave the putting green. Approximately 92% of college students use credit cards for books, tuition, and other education expenses. But before you charge that giant Sociology 101 book, you'll need to consider a number of things first. What is the interest rate on the credit card? An interest rate is the fee you're paying for borrowing money. Interest rates on average are around 14%. However, they can be much higher for college students who don't have a credit history. What is the annual percentage rate, or APR? This is an additional annual finance charge beyond the monthly interest rate. And what is the annual fee? That's another charge credit card companies tack on in addition to the interest rate and APR. Choose a credit card with a low interest rate, little to no APR, and no annual fee. This will keep you from paying nearly triple for your purchases over time. If you have a credit card with a high interest rate, it pays to call and ask the company to reduce it. Oftentimes, one simple phone call is all that it takes. When it comes to credit cards, even the sand traps have sand traps. Credit cards that offer rewards and incentives are dotting the landscape at every turn. In fact, more than a third of consumers choose a credit card based on the rewards offered. Beware of this hazard. Interest rates and APRs are what matter. Rewards can just keep you stuck on the sand trap. Don't get lured by the toaster or the t-shirt. Managing your debt and maintaining a good credit score are the real benefits. Remember, keep a steady grip. Stay focused, stay on course, and you'll win every time.